فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير My name is Vamek, I'm uh, an accountant in a company here in Dubai I want to ask you something that uh, whenever I ask for forgiveness uh, in front of Allah I become very uh, sad and sometimes cry as well in, in state of Salah uh, and I'm, I get really motivated, really motivated that I won't commit a sin but as soon as I go out and join my work or uh, meet with, with my friends or I have alone time, okay, so I commit sins even though uh, I just uh, 15 or 20 minutes ago I asked for forgiveness. So uh, previously it was not the case. Previously, when after uh, before two or three years ago, I used to um, ask for forgiveness, and this this was the motivation factor which used to uh, carry me along a week or a month or maybe three months. But now it's only for 15 or 20 minutes. So I really am depressed that uh, most of my time is in the state of sin. And I just have 15 or 20 or maybe one hour or one day of forgiveness. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help you and help us all. And may he guide you and guide us all. My brother, it's a very important point and we have to take it seriously. It is a concern. Firstly, your environment plays a big role in determining what is going to happen after you've engaged in tawbah. So if I've asked Allah for forgiveness, uh, from a certain sin and nothing has changed in my environment the, the chances of me falling back into that are probably greater because I asked Allah to forgive me but everything that led me to commit those sins is still around me so together with asking Allah small changes need to happen let's become regular with Salah let's start becoming in the company of better people perhaps let's listen constantly to some talk that's motivating Wallahi it helps a lot a lot if you listen to something that motivates you the Quranic recitation the translation of the Quran a good lecture whatever else motivates you it will help you so much keep it constant and keep the dhikr of Allah on your tongue and in your heart because if you remember Allah a lot subhanallah alhamdulillah Allahu Akbar it's very very powerful it will actually remind you of your duty unto Allah similarly what's important is you if your heart is stuck in the house of Allah like the hadith describes rajulun qalbuhu mu'allaqun bil masajid a man whose heart is stuck in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you are constantly concerned about the next salah and you arrive a little bit early in the masjid you make your wudu that will help you a lot it will bring up about so much calmness and sometimes we work in an environment that is uh, perhaps you know not so encouraging of our salah maybe we have mates who are not too bothered they may be not be Muslim at all it might be a workplace that may not be encouraging you know a person to fulfill their salah on time it's up to us to find a way and to, to build a you know a, a method of how I'm going to work and how I will find my mo moments for salah who I will read salah with what I have found very beneficial is when you are more than one then you and and you think similar it's far easier for you to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know if we are moving two people the minute the time for salah comes you look at each other and you say time for salah it's done when you're alone sometimes you say okay let me find the next masjid and then you're looking for it shaitan might come and make you delay and something might happen so it's important for us to establish a whole uh, you know range of items that would inshallah uh, you progress like i've said i've given just a few options uh, we ask Allah's forgiveness and at the same time ensure your environment, your friends, whatever you listen to, uh, your habits and so on, inshallah it can change. But there's one last point I want to say. You know, you might find it strange, but it's reality. If your tawbah is making you motivated for 20 minutes, seek tawbah after 20 minutes again and get another 20. You know, it's like a parking ticket. You put it one hour later, you need to put a bit more. Another hour later, otherwise you get a fine. So it, before, like you say, and wallahi, I, I, I salute your, your courage to have said this thing open. But it happens to all of us that sometimes, you know, you need a bit of a recharge of a battery. I spoke about it, giving in the example of the phone, that the battery dies or it comes low. When it gets to 10%, it tells you to recharge. Same applies with us. When our, when our you know, that tawbah and the, the feeling we felt is, dry, is driving a little bit low, that boost we need, plug it in again, go to the masjid, meet a good man, meet someone, you know, do something good, try and read a good book, motivation, the Quran, the recitation. Some
something that motivates you, keep it going. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all and may He make us from amongst those who can be motivated to do good. Wallahi, you are so correct. It's very difficult in this environment of materialism. Everything is about money. Everything is about perfume. Everything is about lovely things and flashy items. Everything is about the latest and the latest in such a way that we forget to turn to Allah. And by the time we, we, we start gaining focus, you know, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. We don't want to be from amongst those who've died in the condition that we haven't yet got that focus. And that's why we have the talk this evening. There are so many things that I wanted to say, honestly, but time just flew because I was thinking, subhanAllah, Ya Allah, I will say, I will start saying whatever I have. And inshallah, we'll keep the rest for another time, perhaps. So many things that I, I haven't said that I wanted to say this evening, but a little bit at a time. Jazakallah khair, my brother. One thing I just want to say that... Is it connected to what you just said? Yeah, just do dua for me, please. Barakallah The dua we did right at the beginning, I started with you to say, May Allah guide me and guide you. Yeah. And help us all, inshallah. We are all in one boat, my brother. So